Good morning, everyone. Well, it's morning for me because I've recently uh, narrowed it down, and every time I drink Four Sigmatic uh, mushroom coffee, the Lion's Mane and Chaga, I pass the fuck out. So I drank coffee because I was going to go grocery shopping and um, took an hour nap. So that's where I'm at right now. But where are you at? You are listening to episode seven of Road to Freaks. Uh, In the episode, you will see that I erroneously called it episode eight because it is episode 38 of the Junk Drawer Show. Uh, And I just kind of got that mixed up. I think it's 38. I'm pretty sure. Let's just assume I'm right this time. Uh, So episode 38 of the Junk Drawer Show, episode seven of Road to Freaks. Uh, In this episode... We started going a little deeper into the meat of the story. If you remember in past episodes, we looked at the opening, closing scenes, opening and closing scenes, and did like a extended bullet point skeleton of each scene. So today we do the same thing, but for episode or for uh, season, wow, (laughs) it's clear that I just woke up uh, for scenes two and three. So at this point in the story, the the boys have met up, and that's about where we got to. So we, we currently have it scripted up to, maybe, maybe like the, not scripted, but but skeletoned up to the 20 to 30 minute mark of a feature length film. Um, it's starting to take shape, which I really like. I think I say that every single time, that it's starting to take shape and I like it, but it, it's true every time. And um, I think... I'm excited to see where it goes, which is also something I say every single time. So I'm just going to, I think I'll just leave it at that. Um, So here is Junk Drawer Show episode 38, Road to Freaks 7. I don't know what we're naming it yet, but enjoy. You're just going to look smart in this far. Look, I'm trying to pull a 400-year-old dagger out of this country's heart. And that's how we'll start. Hey, what's up, everyone? Oh, my God. Hi. <laughs> I'm taking what's these off on? because I can't see shit. I was going to do this whole bit being Dean Dangerous. I've been watching a lot of Community lately. That's why my chest is exposed. And I'm in a gray hoodie. Wore this hoodie a time hoodie. Wore this desk a time desk. <laughs> But uh, we're back. We took a little time off just to live life. And yeah. uh, so today we're going to jump in. And I, I think what we're planning to do is start writing the first or the second and third scenes in the movie. Right? Yeah. Cool. Because um, we already did, actually we already did the first as far as an outline. Now, did we actually want to go into dialogue or did we... I uh, want to just frame out what the second scene and the third scene would be. I think I want to do the framing first because I mm-hmm. I like the idea of doing more um, <clears throat> foreshadowing type things. Okay. So then once we have the, the structure set up, it'll be easier yeah. to write dialogue for that. Okay. But this, that's also just how I handle most things. Like at work too, I code... <clears throat> the big pieces and then i go back and do details after oh, that. Sure, yeah so no that makes sense um let me get out of all of these tabs besides our one that we want so for anyone who is not caught up which is everyone but mike <laughs> uh Basically. so far what we have is that this this group is not they've been friends for a very long time but they all live in different places so they're not super close anymore but they want to be uh then that's what we discovered through the first scene the second scene uh xander had his the the responsibility thrust upon him to plan out the uh what is it reconvening trip yeah the reconnecting reconnecting trip yes so this is him spitefully pitching the the trip that he was forced to come up with right so what do we have so far? We so, have ideas, but we have mm-hmm. that he's going to purposefully make it bad. 
right yep because we we said that um what we put for the pitch um it's just um basically he's just pitching the trip uh, and the idea it's going to appear very organized and scheduled and have an itinerary um we have the boys are hesitant but are pleasantly surprised that he has taken the initiative we put in parentheses powerpoint um and then we wrote a little bit of a foreshadowing of what he's going to do on the trip and some of those destinations um i feel like for like a passive aggressive powerpoint what we can do is we could do it from like we could do like a voiceover and we could do the powerpoint uh kind of like that's the part like we're doing a pov of either we're cooper looking at the screen or skyo looking at the screen or xander and basically just kind of do uh the powerpoint and we just do like cheesy like we're gonna be in the desert and here's the world's biggest uh ball of string and just make it look like there's no ill intention behind it when right. obviously he's taking them to like a rattlesnake museum and area 51 and <clears throat> yeah. that kind of thing <clears throat> like all the all the things that they're afraid of that he knows they're afraid of exactly okay i like that so um something you mentioned last time is that he would call them super early yes. so I, I like the idea that he he just doesn't go to sleep so he doesn't sleep he go he stays up until like five in the morning doing it and as soon as he's done he calls them yeah so okay. so like 5 a.m 5 a.m call um we should probably make it a FaceTime. Okay. We can just do so it. that it's more interesting to look at. Yeah, it's more dynamic. Uh, plus, it'll show what each character is doing at that time. Mm-hmm. So, call super early. Um, how would he act? Because he, he wants to seem like he this is like, oh, yeah, guys, I, I really like this. I'm, I'm excited. I put a lot of effort into it. But would he play it like that? I think he would play it as eager, but what they would pick up on of eagerness for the trip would be realistically the eagerness to be passive aggressive and be petty. So, like, they, I think they he would, would wake pick up, up on that, or they I don't, no. I think they would pick up that he's eager, but I would think we should assume as the characters that he's just excited for the trip because we, as the audience, aren't also in the know that he's sabotaging the trip. Right. So, right. I mean, when we first see him, he should be cracked out on, like, caffeine and Adderall and have bags under his eyes and wearing the same exact thing that they said goodbye to him in and his hair is disheveled and, and whatnot. I'm staying <coughs> up all night. Okay. Um, uh, audience assumes he's eager... To see his friends. Because eager. they don't know the character yet. Okay. To you see know? his friends... But it's actually eager to, to be, be a, a dick. To be petty. Petty mayonnaise. To be petty mayonnaise. Ooh. So cracked out. Um, hair disheveled. What'd you... Oh, um, same, same clothes. clothes. It looks like he, you know, he hasn't slept at all because he hasn't. Mm-hmm. Okay, so anything we want to hit on specifically in the scene? Because th- this is kind of a short scene before getting into the meeting. Right. Oh, no, because the pitch, the, this is the call before the pitch. Right. Okay. So the call slash the pitch. Um, so what would, I, I'm assuming Cooper would be, would, would have been sleeping. Yeah. I mean, any sane person would have been, would be sleeping at 5 a.m. Yeah. But I would imagine that Skylar with his streaming stuff would have just gone to sleep recently. Okay. Like my thought is he just went to sleep like two hours ago. Okay. We could actually like follow him, like. Because we, we have it ending, the, or at least the last scene ending with Z, uh, Xander by the fire plotting. 
So what we can do then is we can kind of show a passage of time from maybe Skylar putting down his stuff, saying goodnight, and then we do like a time jump for his, uh, what you call it, his alarm clock to be woken up by Xander's phone call at 5 a.m., 5.02, 5.15. Oh, okay, so following Cooper? Yeah, or Cooper or Skylar. I was saying Skylar because he has the, the Twitch thing. So you could do like 3 a.m. Twitch and then obviously he would leave. Oh yeah, you know what I, I thought, mean. I thought we were gonna just follow Xander for that. I mean, originally we were. We were looking at doing that. Um, that's just that's just the thought process. It doesn't have to actually be the the thing. I was just trying to think of different ways to kind of present things. You know. So so what would what would the idea be then? We show Xander working on it, fading it off into the night. Mm -hmm. and then follow one of the other characters and so it shows that you know this isn't get a little bit more insight of what their norms are so like Skylar also doing like small hours and really coveting sleep and getting that sleep interrupted because that would also explain why he you know he doesn't uh, wake up past noon because he's up until 3am mm -hmm. you know Okay, so you does that make sense? Yeah, I'm trying to picture, like, film wise, how to do it. So if we Got fade it. out on one, would it be kind of like, I think it's the, <clears throat> the opening scene from season two of Community, where okay. they kind of pan like across pan. all their bedrooms. Got it. Like, is that what you're picturing for it? Yeah, kind of. Or, um, kind of doing like because we were talking about it before a little edgar Wrighty where it's like hard cuts to headphones down brush teeth lay down in bed head to pillow 3 a.m then at hard cuts 5 a.m phone rings skyler looks at it sander calling like that kind of thing just do like mm. a beat for beat for beat for beat that way we can tell a lot in a short amount of time yeah i have one I'm open to the idea, but I, I wonder if that would make a lot of sense if we have that slow transition out and right. then immediately switch to Skylar. Right. Because we're still well, focused on... Like, I, my, my worry is following... Like, an inconsistent following right. of a character. Like, not knowing who we're on at a, a given time. Well, I think if you... <clears throat> depending on who you have you could also always do like a a different kind of style shot with like skylar is edgar wright maybe xander is wes anderson and then cooper like what's up i, I, I saw idea. the what's yes. the idea pitch what if he has skylar's stream up and that's the transition to skylar i like that yeah yeah okay so i'm going to add that to the end well, I'll add it before. Um, so, um, after Xander is by the fire, he has Skylar's stream up. That is the transition to Skylar. Uh, do we want? Do we want to try to touch all of them? Do we want to also have a transition to Cooper? Because he's just going to be sleeping. Um, yeah, I wouldn't think it would be dynamic with Cooper. Because then what we can do is, if it's the FaceTime, you can eventually just add Cooper onto the FaceTime of him and Med going, why the fuck are you waking me up? Like, putting his glasses on, that kind of thing. Okay. So, Edgar Wright montage. So. For Skylar. <laughs> bed at 3 a.m. Hard cut to 5 a.m and then this is where we get into yeah okay because i yeah, see that, I like that in, transition. I, I i see that in five beats it's headphone beat uh toothbrush beat head hits pillow beat that's three beat to the clock 3 a.m and then beat 5 a.m and then you can transition back or you can move regularly again but mm -hmm. if we do kind of those Scott Pilgrim -y, Edgar Wrighty kind of shots, I think it would fit Skyler's aesthetic. Yeah, I can get behind that. I you also, know? one thing I want to do, because I think we've been doing it already, but I want to make it like 
uh, explicit. This is the the phone or whatever is going to be the transition between the characters during the first half of the movie. Yes. But when they rebond, then it's we, this is no longer the transition. Right. So every transition we have up until probably being in person. Huh. Oh, sorry. I was saying until being in person is just all digital based. Yeah, but if we can do it even while they're in person before they really connect, I don't know how. Okay. Like whether it's like a reflection in a TV or someone's looking at their phone and the reflections in that or like someone's looking at their phone and like, you know how sometimes I have to go to Mike and be like, we're all here. Yeah. You know, like that kind of thing. Like that could yeah. be anything that, that puts a focus on the technology being the connect- the connection and the block. Right. Okay. Cool. Okay. okay. So calls the group super early um facetime skylar answers first yeah skylar answers first which shows xander right uh cooper hops on maybe like four lines later yeah maybe they have to call him again Like what if what what if they have their own back and forth for a little bit, yeah. and then one of them says, "Where the fuck is Cooper?" and then call him again. Yeah. Okay, I could see that, and I could see Xander being the one that's you know junked out and cracked out and hitting the call <laughs> button like seventeen times. Yeah. Okay, so Xander plays it eager. Cooper had been asleep for a while. Skylar went to sleep at three a.m. Um, so I guess they'll end by saying that he has a presentation for them do we want to like have them show it now or wait until later in the day no i think it should be i have a presentation to show you and then both of them we can actually cut to their bedrooms with their phones up like this like powerpoint and then we can tra- we can cut to we can even do a powerpoint transition cut to that scene <laughs> yes and be great. like my powerpoint <laughs> If we can, like, engage a green screen, I would love to just do the presentation in front of a green screen and then have the PowerPoint basically be, like, the focus of the scene and then be, like, super tiny in the corner. Yeah, dude, I was thinking that exact same thing. That'd be hilarious. Okay, so they both went to sleep. Um, Also, he'd be in, like, uh, boxer briefs, but a sport coat. (laughs) Yeah, I like that. So when Xander mentions the PowerPoint, um, cut to side-by-side of... Skyler and Cooper staring at their phones and in unison say PowerPoint? <laughs> question mark, question mark. <laughs> question mark, question mark. Um, so the pitch, use a green screen. Xander is tiny in the corner presenting it in boxers but a sports coat gotta rock the sports coat man and no shirt no shirt (laughs) yeah okay (laughs) like just the sports coat just the sports coat okay and high socks oh yeah if we can see them (laughs) nah we won't but i'll know they're there yeah i put that down at one point Um, i'll just do a kick so you can see the socks (laughs) (laughs) kia kia I feel like a tiger, dude. (laughs) So we have... How do we want to do... Like, Do we want to plan out the PowerPoint? Oh, hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. Uh, It needs to be like um, like a high school shitty PowerPoint. Like you can see he put effort into it, but it's bad. High school. Because that to me is funnier. As like oh, yeah. a th- a seeing a thirty year old man, and then like it's like the pew pew like transitions, bad transitions, um, awkward JPEG pictures. Awkward like JPEG. He didn't, he didn't bother to like find high quality pictures. Yeah, it's He's gonna like, be like um, oh fuck, what was the Kyle Mooney interview stuff? Oh, when they were talking. the bros, like the Santa Barbara bros. 
They might have been. I, he did it a lot where he went to like a Justin Bieber concert. And be like, oh, that's so what did so you guys different. think about the thing? And then it would yeah. have really bad clip art. Basically, yeah, bad clip art. That's that's the the main. Okay, so Kyle Mooney. Um, what was we did that for one of our videos too? We did was, bad clip was art. Was that when Mike and Nikki were running for yes school office? Okay, yes. So <clears throat> pickle cat. Where? film where mike did uh, where you did a kickflip but we made it look like mike when it was really just you and then we just put mike in the same shirt and he went like this like it was a yeah. bad <laughs> yeah i remember being in uh high school in uh mr vano's class because he was a, a fish head and a skateboarder and uh because I, I was the narrator for that i said ollie and he immediately goes you know that's not an ollie right i'm like <laughs> yeah i know it's not an ollie that's the joke like he uh, was almost offended. Yeah, how dare you? It's like that's a kickflip. I'm like, I know. <laughs> I've played Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Yeah, and it's coming out again in four months. Yeah, that's pretty exciting, actually. You cut. Uh, out. I said that's actually pretty exciting. Yeah, dude, I'm super. I was mumbling. Um, so yes, uh, I think bad clip art. <clears throat> I think the transitions like each one should be different like one coming down like the weird zigzag one no consistent there's no consistent theme transition or theme or anything okay so so how many how many slides yeah i have an idea maybe it's like five or six because i'm thinking of what the dialogue would be in my head for him if i was just janked out on caffeine it would be like i do like the i feel like a tiger right now before you before you start to explain it yeah how do you feel about just doing it that's what i was gonna kind of do it okay okay but um it was kind of it would be you'll just take notes so it's kind of him cracked out nerked out either he's like i feel like a i don't i feel like a, a tiger is actually from the charlie's angels reboot they did So I think if I turn it into something else, it would be funnier. So I feel like a a Wolverine or I feel like a Badger because I don't give a fuck right now because it's about me and my boys. I spent all night doing this and I haven't fallen asleep. I didn't even like wink an eye and I am solely just going off of caffeine and Adderall. But hear me out. So first slide transition here's cooper look how sad he looks oh man my wife left me and all that weird stuff and no that's really sad and whatever but he needs some bro time and then we transition scholars is shut in look at him like he he doesn't have fucking friends i'm his friend and i haven't seen him and then there's me and then it's like a picture of him like this and he's like stressed out but also like really cool and badass so what's the solution to all of this a trip and then one of you interrupts and goes like yeah i know that we wanted to go on the trip you don't have to you know to, and he's like ah, don't interrupt me this is the whole this is part of the presentation this is the thing and then next slide transition and then it's like we've never been to new mexico and i was watching a lot of uh, drug cartel tv and i thought maybe mexico would be good because that's probably where the adderall came from do you think adderall comes from mexico and just have him go off into medium tangents where he has to refocus um they have lots of cool stuff they have like uh helicopter rides and helicopter tours and they have natural parks and they have the white sands park it's like this big park and he tra- like i would love actually we should have more of it and it should be all the sites but he's quickly just kind of going through them <laughs> yeah, yeah and it's just like pew 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 And then we could get like tchotchkes at gift stores and we could go to different rest stops and then we could see sideshow attractions. Like, did you know there's the world's largest pistachio? I kind of want to see the world's largest pistachio. Do you think they would, it's actually a pistachio or do you think it's one big ceramic pistachio and then you could buy pistachios and then just, I think like occasionally they have to like butt in like, okay, where is mm-hmm. this going? What what are you doing? Uh, so if I think of having one of them like, alternate between Skyler and Cooper of trying to reel him back in would be I think uh, good as well okay cool I got most of that so I have um, 
five to six, well it was five to six slides it's gonna be more now but i have yeah. i feel like a badger i didn't sleep at all I, i'm going solely off caffeine and adderall first slide look how sad cooper is he needs some bro time skylar shut in he needs friends i'm his friend i don't see him uh, picture of Xander <laughs> stressed out. He's stressed out as fuck, but he's cool and he's a badass. He probably kid. gets laid all the time. Yeah, I bet, he, I bet he's knee deep in puss. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> What's the solution? A trip. Yeah, dude, we know. We came up with the idea. Don't interrupt yeah. me. Don't interrupt, but it's my idea of what we're going to do on the trip. So it's really rude to interrupt people. Like, do I interrupt you? Like, I'm not interrupting you right now because you interrupted me first. And then that's why this whole chain of interrupting started. So don't interrupt, dude. That's rude. Anyway. <laughs> Trey. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, and then don't interrupt me. Part of the presentation. We've never been to New Mexico, and I watch a lot of drug cartel TV. List all the cool things, and as long as you at some point mention the White Sands Park, yeah. I think I think it'd be funny if every single thing you mention doesn't happen except for White Sands Park. Okay. Um, and then so find like good things to do and have them breeze through it, and maybe end on White Sands Park. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe have them break down the itinerary. Like, first we start here, and then we're going to move here and here, and then we're going to do a side here, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to end at the White Sands Park. Look how beautiful that is. That looks like snow, but it's fucking not snow because it's New Mexico, and that's sand. And sand and snow don't really mix. Does it snow in New Mexico? I didn't actually look that up. I just looked up the different populations of the different kind of trades. Did you know they trade in ore and also cocaine? Or Adderall? I don't know. Uh, I don't know where I got this Adderall from, but it's really old. So I don't know if like old Adderall is bad or it goes expired or it just gets stronger. <gasps> yeah. Cool. So I, I think that's good. Um, as long as my, my thing with his presentation is I want him to not lie. I want it to all be technically true. Yeah. So as, as long as he's like <clears throat> not saying we are going to go here, here, and here. He just shows all these cool places. Yeah. National parks are things they have. Helicopter rides, national parks, sideshow attractions, like things that they can do. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, and through all our wacky, whimsical conquests, we're going to end up here. Yeah, I like that. So yeah, he won't go into specifics, but he can keep reiterating that he has it all planned out and their only job is to show up and chill. That he has it all planned. Cool. Okay, so how do we end the scene? Uh, trip He's starts in two days, boys. Yeah, already booked the Airbnb. I already booked the Airbnb, and uh, by the way, you guys owe me $300 each for your plane tickets, so bye! No, but what, what if instead of that, he has their credit card numbers, for whatever reason? <laughs> okay. So, already booked the Airbnb and your flights. I used your credit card, by the way. Maybe you guys should get your own Hulu and Netflix accounts. Or maybe don't give it to your friends because they can be skeevy and they can get things like this. Bye! <laughs> yeah. I'm not sued. Either So either that or like... Should we... Could, would Xander be... No, nah, he wouldn't be able to hack into things. No, but if he had like, say like a Netflix account and it's like, oh, I have a credit card number here and I have billing information. Yeah, I don't think it shows that, does it? It doesn't, but... Um, we gotta make to... our movie realistic. Mm-hmm. So, um, I use this is what account. happens when we all use the same Amazon account. It still doesn't show all of the credit cards for that specific reason. I know Google Play does. Well, to an extent, it fills everything out for you because it auto fills. So, if you try to buy something, you can do Google Play card, and then it will put in all the info, including the CVV and the expiration for you. What? What if he? Um, <clears throat> instead of I used your credit cards. You, he uses Xander's credit cards and says you need to be you need to be more uh, careful what you stream. Oh, uh, you mean he he gets Skylar's credit cards? Yeah, what did I say? You said Xander's. Yeah, yeah. Xander gets Skylar's credit card and says you need to you need to be more careful with what you stream because that's something people do a lot is accidentally stream something they shouldn't. Okay, I'm about it. More careful what you stream also i canceled it because you don't know what kind of creeps are going to use this information yeah cool 
Bye. This laptop is dying. The trip is in two days. Trip is in two days, bitches. To the Pedro Pascal shots. <laughs> cool and then i do you think you should leave it there or like should there be an interaction between cooper and skylar on the the facetime skype call like well that was something yeah yeah i think um close out with an interaction between cooper and skylar and reinforce their surprise of what he did so reinforce that this is supposed to be positive Reinforces their surprise and that they are optimistic and not suspicious. <clears throat> Fucking dummies. Dumbasses. They yeah, because be I, I do want to make sure that Xander has the like the big exit, but I think, it, like you said, it's a good idea to have them reinforce what the audience should be thinking. Yeah. Cool. So that okay. is a full page. Yeah. So then the meeting for Airbnb. Okay. Meeting, Airbnb. Uh, who should be the first to arrive? Who do you think would be? Probably Cooper would be the first to arrive. Like if Xander gave him a time, like he would be prompt to be there, I think. I I think he should get there before Skylar, but I think Xander should already be there because he booked it and everything. So I think he would have to go through that process anyway. Got it. Okay. So I like I picture us following Cooper up to the house, and then Xander's like, "What's up? Oh shit! What's up, jerks?" Yeah, because because also from that from the face thing where we have Skylar and Cooper, when we close that scene, we can follow Cooper. Yeah. Okay. Um. So not suspicious. Follow Cooper. The. After to transition to okay, so the meeting. Cooper walks up to Airbnb. Xander is already there. What's up, bitches, dudes? What's up, Coop Troop? Coop, scoop. Coop Troop, he's up. like Goof Troop. Oh, I was thinking. Coop scoop like poop scoop. Fine, we'll do coop troop. Um, well, you know, I we can figure something else out, but yeah, no, I'm I'm just writing about them. <laughs> um, so I feel like because I still have the um, I still have the the army jacket. <laughs> you should definitely still be wearing that. So he would be wearing that, I think, again, just wear maybe something more. Maybe like, depending on when we go, if it's cold, obviously like flannel or that's more into uh, wardrobe. But yeah, I think that should be a comment. Like Cooper's like, you still have that thing? And be like, yeah, man, still flits like a glove. And you can put in parentheses, it does not. Because <laughs> obviously I'm not going to be able to close it, but I can wear it like a jacket. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, okay. So... Inside, I think it should what? already be like Xander's been there for a while. Inside, Xander has been there for a while. Um, what is the purpose of this scene, by the way? I think it's to establish a uh, relationship. Like the, the awkwardness. The, the Cooper, Xander, yeah. Okay. Like, they come like to hug and, you know, Co- obviously Xander is uncomfortable with touching and you know maybe they should awkwardly uh fist bump ends in fist bump okay and you know so uh xander being like that was okay well come inside to chateau us a la freak and i think it should just be a representation of xander's kind of sporadic thinking so maybe there's paper bag like food bags around maybe a couple of beer cans food remnants and trash litter the place and cooper can be like how long is have you been here and 
I can be like, I've been here for like an hour. <laughs> okay. How long have you been here? Only like an hour. Um, what do you What do you think about? Because he's still trying to come off as super accommodating. Yeah. He's doing like you know when um in in fancy places at least in movies where you're, as soon as you walk in they like present you with champagne or hors d'oeuvres that kind of thing. Oh my god! It what if he me. does? Yeah, something like that, but they're really shitty. Yeah. Miller High Life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. It's the champagne of beers. Don't be snotty. Okay? Don't be a snob. It presents Cooper with uh, Miller High Life or other non-trademark shit drink. Yeah, beer beer. <laughs> I love beer beer. We should come up with beer names. Hold on. I'm going to look up a, if there's a beer name generator. There's a name generator for everything. Yeah. Hopsweiser. Hopsweiser. Yep, there we go. Beer name generator. Beer and brewing. Skyler should come in from a different door, too. Okay. Like, he'll just walk in, just to to emphasize how disjointed they are. Yeah. The door is open, so I came in. Skyler walks in through wrong door. Would he... Like, I... I don't think it's a good idea to make them all anxious or both because we only have three. You mean so, awkward? Yeah, awkward and anxious about the entire thing. So would Skylar would, be a little more calm? I think he'd be a little bit more warm because I feel like with uh, Cooper and Xander, there's a lot of unsaid stuff that we've established in previous episodes. So mm-hmm. it would make sense for them to be awkward as opposed to, oh, thank God, Skylar's here. Oh, Meanwhile, okay. yeah, yeah. You know? We have the quadruple dry hopped enchanted juice coma. Ooh, juice coma. I actually like juice coma. Can is I offer you a thing? juice coma? No, this is a generator. Oh, you mean as a name you like it. Okay. Yeah. Can I actually get it? <laughs> into a juice coma? You know what I like more about that is that it just sounds like an energy drink. And that he's just offering them an energy drink for some reason. Like a four <laughs> loco. Yeah, yeah. Would you like a juice coma? That's okay. So we have a brand of energy drink now. Yeah. I kind of want to make it like a Four loco though. Like there's alcohol in it too. Oh, hell yeah. Like, I thought these were banned. Yeah, but I bought a shitload of them. Yeah, dude. We're in New Mexico, my guy. <laughs> Where do you think I got these? Old Mexico. <laughs> uh, I thought so we're drinking were... old Mexican <laughs> juice comas. These. Yeah, these are the original juice comas, too. Not like the weak shit that came out. Because, <laughs> you know, they, they reformulated Four Locos R.I.P. Yeah. Yeah. to be less intense. Oh, freshman year. Oh, energy beer. Get fucked up. Where you can drink and not black out because it wouldn't allow you to. Okay, so when he's presented with that, I think that's when Skylar comes in. And then... Cooper will have a visible, like, oh, thank God, Skyler's here. I think Skyler should come in saying, didn't they ban that shit? Oh, you want him to say it? Okay. I think... So I think Cooper should say, like, we used to drink the fuck ton of these in high school. Where did you get them? Old Mexico. And then uh, you can... Skyler would be like, I thought they disbanded that shit. So that can be kind of like his intro in, okay. his lead in. Old Mexico. We're in New Mexico. Where do you think I got them? Old Mexico. Ye old Mexico. <laughs> ye old Mexico. <laughs> I'm going to put ye in front of that. Okay. So they walk in. They're all there. Um, so we... There's a lot of unsaid stuff between Cooper and Z- Xander. But yeah. not with Skylar. So they would probably hug pretty... Reasonably. Cooper and Skyler would hug, and then I think um, Skyler would know about Xander's no touching thing. So immediately, either go into a fist bump or low five, high five kind of thing. Or you know what? Their relationship would be dick punches. <laughs> Still at thirty, of course. And dick punches Xander. Nut tap. 
Because that's what we used to do in high school. We used to nut tap each other all the fucking time. Oh, yeah, you did. I never wanted that. Mike and I did that. I know. A lot. So it would make sense that we nut tap each other. Yeah. So I think that also can play into later like banter and shit of randomly nut tapping each other or doing like this and then punching the other one in the arm. Wait, what What was this? The... Oh, the game. Yeah. <laughs> It got it got blurry for a second. Uh, that's because of my background. It's because I'm in the ether. <laughs> yeah. I'm in Doctor Strange 2 right now. Oh, shit. Electric really Boogaloo. I'm really excited for Doctor Strange 2. Sam Raimi is directing it. Okay. Um, so after the intro, when are they <clears throat> leaving for the trip? Because I'm picturing that they're getting there like midday. Um, yeah, so I think like within the next like 12, 13 hours they would be leaving for the trip. Do so should it cuz what we could have the first indication that it's going to be a weird trip that instead of leaving in the morning, they leave that night. <laughs> okay. And don't even stay in the Airbnb. <laughs> okay. Wait, aren't we going to stay in the Airbnb? No, we're burning daylight, man. <laughs> Okay. Um, it's midday. It's like 3 p.m. Kind of tired. I wanted to, to relax. You can relax in the RV, my guy. This is leaving for the trip at night instead of the morning, like a normal. Less traffic. Trip. We're in the fucking desert. I don't think there's going to be traffic. Less traffic. Um. So why did we rent this Airbnb? <laughs> Oops. Okay. Um. Airports kind of freaked me out, especially with the whole mm, thing that happened a few <laughs> months ago. So, because oh. obviously COVID nineteen is still going to be a thing in general. So it's like I didn't really want to go to an airport. Like this is a good centrifuge and kind of lets us get our bearings and if you have to go to the bathroom you can do it now before we get to the RV because there's no bathroom because there's no bathroom uh, so if maybe not even tonight like they if they get there at 3 they should just leave at like 5 okay or maybe they get there in the evening so that they're leaving right at night Okay. Is nighttime shooting hard? Nighttime like, shooting? Like, do we need more stuff for that? You would need a lot of lighting to, to make sure it looks okay. Okay, because I just want to make sure we're not, like, shooting ourselves in the foot by doing that. Right. Uh, go to the bathroom now because there <coughs> is not one in the rv meanwhile there is but it doesn't work maybe yeah or, or he just tells them it doesn't work because yeah. he wants to make their life shit there is it works but he's lying you know like a liar <laughs> like a liar i just want to feed my birds uh, okay so How how do we transition to the next thing? Do we just is the next thing them driving? I think the next thing would be interior RV of Cooper and Skylar sitting in the RV or getting situated in the RV, and then you can do like a cut to Xander with them in the foreground uh, of you know okay let's go and then off to the uh, the races. Okay, so that'll be the end of the scene? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, end of scene. Skylar and Cooper in background with Xander driving. Let's go. Engine revs. Um, so then, a, not, not a montage, but we can have like a a short scene of them recollecting all their stuff 
and yeah. taking it into the short bit of recollecting their stuff and taking it to the RV. Probably with some sort of, like, physical comedy or joke exposition. Yeah. Cool. Also, if we could make uh, Juice Coma, like, can boxes, I think that'd be really funny. Like, it's just stacked with Juice Coma. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. I can't imagine that'd be hard to print either. No. Okay. I, I, I don't know if this scene feels too short or if it's just... Well, it when you add... It doesn't need to be too short. No, when you add dialogue, it's going to be longer, obviously. We just need to know what the beats are going to be. True. I guess with the other one, a lot of it is just... We were describing the, um, the PowerPoint... Yeah. So, okay, I'll go over the meeting scene again. Yeah. Uh, Cooper walks up to Airbnb. Xander is already there. What's up, Coop, Coop Troop? Uh, Xander is still wearing his army jacket from Freaks 1. Cooper comments on that. Um, Xander kind of ushers him inside. And it, it, it appears that Xander's been there for a while. There's trash bags. Or not trash bags. There's food bags. Um, what was it called? Juice coma. Yep. Drinks everywhere. Um Cooper comments, how long have you been here? And Xander responds, only like an hour. So they do like, they go, Cooper goes in for an awkward hug, not remembering Xander's no touching thing. And then it becomes like this weird, like, bow. <laughs> high five thing. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, and also with you. <laughs> so Xander starts showing him the place, and that's where we see more of the trash. I'm So well, while we're talking about this, I'm picturing the airbnb we stayed at with for pat's wedding yeah so i'm picturing this is all happening in the entryway mm -hmm. and then you start showing me like the kitchen area yeah and, then, and there's like dishes and shit in it yeah that's where like so much more stuff pops up and that's when skylar walks through when when um oh so you right you you uh you have you have a silver platter with with juice coma sitting on it yes and you offer me some then the juice coma back and forth uh happens that's when Skylar comes in and says, like, whoa, hey, I thought they banned that. Uh, nut tap. <laughs> nut tap. And then hugs Cooper to kind of yeah. show how the relationships are. Uh, Xander informs them that they are leaving for the trip tonight. So, like, all right, guys, let's get going. Um, Start loading everything up. Yep. And, like, why are, we, why are we going tonight? Well, there's less traffic. Uh, why did we rent this Airbnb for a week? Well, we're going to be coming back, and we're going to end it after we get to White Sands. We're going to come back here, so we have shit when we come back. Yeah. Because um, then oh, it would man. also then play into, because that's eventually what we wanted anyway, was all of them to reconvene back at the Airbnb, so. Yeah. Let me write that down. Where's... Um, so we have a place to come back after. Okay, uh, airport, airports are full of germs. Uh, all right, go to the bathroom now because there isn't one in the RV, but there is, and he just doesn't tell them that. Yeah. Uh, short kind of, I don't know what the term would be because it's not a montage, but a, like a um, long cut of them getting packing <clears throat> stuff back up into the RV. Yeah, just stay on them with the camera for a while, just seeing them kind of rounding everything up and then leaving. with camera recollecting their stuff and taking it to the RV. Uh, this is where we would have some physical comedy, some joke exposition, whatever we come up with. Right. Uh, and then it ends with Skylar and Cooper in the background kind of looking around confused and Xander sitting in the driver's seat, turning the car on, looking in the rear view mirror and saying, let's go. And that, yeah. that can be the transition through a, a screen okay. of types. Cool. Hell yeah. 
Uh, do you want to read through the call slash the pitch? Yeah. So the call pitch uh, after Xander is by the fire. He has uh, Skyler stream up. That is where we transition to Skyler. So we'll do an Edgar Wright montage of Skyler. Uh, Skyler, teeth, brush, bed, head hits pillow, 3 a.m., hard cut, 5 a.m., to uh, waking up to the ringing of his phone. Uh, flicks it open and it shows that it's from Xander. Uh, and it's a FaceTime call, which Skyler answers first. We get some dialogue between Xander and uh, Skyler. And Cooper eventually hops on about four lines or so later. Uh, after or no, I would I would think it would be he hops on after having to call like Cooper like after spamming the call button a few times. Um, Xander plays. Uh, he is very eager. We don't know what the excitement's from. We don't know if it's from genuine excitement for seeing his friends or the terrible things he's going to put them through because he's an antagonist. <laughs> um, Anyway, Xander is cracked out from staying up all night. Hair is disheveled. He's wearing uh, basically his uh, boxers. And uh, I would say he should wear the shirt at least from the night before because then that's going to make the sport coat bit funnier to me. Because if it's just him without the shirt, it's like, okay, why is he wearing no shirt? Because we yeah. don't know he's just in the boxer, so we just see the shirt. So when he does the sport coat and we just see the boxer reveal, then at least that's my thought process. Oh, I see. So, okay. Okay, I was picturing it like uh, the Hunters, where it's a complete non sequitur, but I like your Got idea. It. Okay. So it, he'll have like a, dish, like a kind of shitty stained t-shirt, and then he'll put on a blazer. Yeah. Got to do the Zhuzh it up. Um, so basically, the idea is he's going to be excited for everything um cooper would have been sleeping for a while uh skylar went uh to sleep at 3 a.m so that's uh redundant at the moment um so when xander mentions the powerpoint it cuts to a side by side of cooper and xander staring at their phones and in unison saying powerpoint uh the pitch uh uses a green screen uh, basically, we do a cheesy PowerPoint transition into the PowerPoint transition. Uh, Xander is very tiny in the corner of the screen, presenting it in boxers, but has a sports coat and the disheveled, gross, stained shirt from the night before. Um, basically, it's a high school bad PowerPoint, but it, it did actually take effort. There are bad transitions, bunch of JPEG and <laughs> clip art. Uh, inspiration is like Kyle Mooney or the Pickle Cat, our Pickle Cat film uh, political career uh, there's no consistent transition or theme to anything so things are coming in in different weird things like that weird checkered pattern or sliding in or tire screeching um, <laughs> he says something to the effect of I feel like a badger or I I don't know I'm not set on badger yet I don't know if he's going to say like I feel like a arctic wolf or ask me something weird and specific um, yeah we just have the idea that he's going to say I feel like a something yeah, I feel like something weird and specific. Um, so solely off of caffeine and Adderall, uh, the first slide, look at how sad Cooper is. He needs some bro time. Skyler is a shut-in and needs friends. I don't see him, and I'm his friend. Uh, and then a picture of Xander stressed out. But I think it should be like a pose stressed out. Like he definitely took the picture that night, and it's just him like... <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Um, he should have two pictures. One of him like looking... And then one him like the cigarette, like in a leather jacket. Yeah, like Badass. photoshopped on though. Yes, photoshopped okay. abs. Um, solution trip. Um, there's an interruption of we know it was our idea, and Xander uh, quipping with "Don't interrupt me. This is part of the presentation." Um, never met in New Mexico. We've never been to New Mexico, and I've been watching a lot of drug cartel TV, so I think it might be dope. Uh, lists cool things and mentions White Sand Park where they would end at uh, super quick transition through all other attractions that he got clip art of um, Cooper and Skylar reel him back in from his tangents um, and things they have but won't go to uh, so he's just talking about things that New Mexico has but he has no intention of bringing them to um, and basically just keeps reiterating that he has everything planned. He has an itinerary and it's on his phone and he's ready to rock and roll. I would even have him, uh, well, he can't actually show his phone. Um, and then, yep, he uh, ends up with, he already booked the Airbnb. 
and their flights and that he used Skyler's credit card because uh, Skyler needs to be more careful with what he streams. Also, he canceled it for him because you don't know what kind of creeps might use that information. Trips in two days. So then, he comes in like a tornado and he leaves like a tornado. Yep. And then we close with, an, with a short interact. So he'll <coughs> he'll close the the call. Yep. And it'll just be a FaceTime call between Cooper and Skyler where they will reinforce that they are surprised and uh, optimistic about um, Sky, uh, Xander's like zest for the project. Yeah. And then after that, uh, Skyler hangs out, hangs up, Cooper, then we follow Cooper, and that's the transition where we then cut to the meeting. Which right. we, maybe we need something in between there, but I don't know. Maybe the calling off of work because we wanted to show that Cooper's other antagonist would be, uh, you know, his work and be him being unhappy in his job. That that would be a good example of showing that. It's a good idea. Getting, uh, you know, give getting a hard time of uh, at, at requesting to leave. You know, mm-hmm. the call out. People do that all the time. Okay, so uh, should it be immediate then? Well, at 5 5 a.m. is pretty early to call out of. Well, I mean, what day are we picturing this as? I would think this would be like, maybe it's, well, if they're leaving on. It's a, if it's in two days, days. Maybe it's like a Wednesday morning. Okay. So Cooper, is he, do we have him as a remote worker? Yes, we do. Okay. So Cooper has Slack call to request off of work. Um, He lies about why he needs to take off last minute is given shit for it call ends I know this one's a lot less detailed mm-hmm. but I don't think that needs to be a big scene oh no that's that's good I, I hmm, how do we what sort of transitions maybe like um audio transitions like you know I think um Edgar Wright does it a lot where this the the shot will be right on the person's face and then it's yeah. like the background changes or there's an audio cue that then yeah. you pivot and that's how the scene changes. Yeah, we could do something like that. Okay. Um, Edgar I don't know if I'm spelling this right. It's yeah, you're spelling it right. In and out of scene. Cool. Okay. Look at that. That's three more scenes we had than yesterday. Hell yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's coming together. We have what well, we have the intro scene. We have the the setup scene and the closing scene or the setup scenes. Yep, and we have the ending scene. And now we're moving on to the bulk or the you know. The, the hijinks the hijinks and the, the mishap so the next episode should be really fun too yeah so I think we, we've actually gone through roughly the first three sections of the yeah. circle well I think that's a good place to wrap up then I think so too we're literally like less than a minute to an hour at least on my audacity uh, thing yeah, uh, shout out to Audacity. Them. Thanks for always being there. And being free. And being free. You provide a very invaluable service, and I appreciate what mm-hmm. you do. Thanks. So, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. We could really use them. Yeah. It helps a lot. Uh, if you're listening to a podcast, what do you do? You rate it, leave a review, follow, subs- is it subscribe. I think you follow it. Yeah, whatever it is, you can find us in your podcatcher of choice, be that 
Apple, Stitcher, um, Spotify. Google's Spotify, where Joe Rogan's I'm a Spotify at now. Guy. I need. I, I think I need to start using it. But yeah, yeah. So thanks for watching episode eight, I think, and we'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye. Stop Bye. recording. <laughs>